Hey everyone, this is section two in your notes. So actually, let's go back up and take a look at our standards. So these are the chapter three standards, and today we are going to be focusing on electron affinity. And I just circled that really poorly, but we're in note section two, so we're going to scroll down. And electron affinity is a really fancy way of saying it's describing, so actually we are gonna screw, this is describing the attraction or the pull an atom has for electrons. So atoms pull on electrons differently. And the first thing we need to do after you fill this in, so this is the attraction an atom has for electrons. I put the wrong word here. Electronegativity is kind of like affinity, but there are some differences. So I wanna make sure we're using the right vocab. So change this, get rid of that electronegativity, scribble that right out and put in electron affinity, A-F-F. I-N-I-T-Y. So electron affinity describes the attraction an atom has for electrons. And it's a scale, and this ranges from 0 to 4. So the lower the attraction an atom has for an electron, the lower its number on the scale is. And the higher, the more attraction it has, the harder it tugs on electrons, the higher its number is. We're going to come back to this in bonding when we talk about ionic versus covalent bonding. But for now, you just need to know that there is a difference. And there is a pattern here on the periodic table. And the first thing I need to point out, or the first thing we need to point out, is that these are trying to fill their valence shell. So these atoms are, this is an effort to trying to fill, to fill the valence shell and any valence shell is going to have eight electrons eight e negative e minus means electron and this is called the octet rule so oct uh, means eight so octet the octet rule says that any atom wants to have eight valence electrons in that valence shell and some of them do that by stealing electrons the only group on the periodic table that we are going to ignore for this are the noble gases right here, this blue group. And why, we ask ourselves, well, their valence shell is already full. So the noble gases have an, uh, an electron affinity of zero. They don't need to get any more electrons. They don't even want to. So these guys are out of the picture. The rest of them fall on this one or zero to four scale somewhere, and we're gonna be doing a lab that takes a look at this. So just know that the electron affinity again is the attraction an atom has for electrons and depending on how strong that attraction is it will either pull electrons away from something or it will give its electron up so based on what you already know go ahead and mark on here in pencil make sure you use pencil uh, what the strongest and the weakest atoms are just based on what you know already about the periodic table your critical thinking questions again are over here to the right use the space below the video to fill these in and all of this again is going into your portfolio so make sure you hang on to your papers